cat gives birth. Then doctors realize they're not kittens. Welcome to Viral Stories. Secrets, facts, and strange stories from around the world. If you find yourself amazed at what some of our fellow humans and animals can do, this is the place for you. This is a channel you're going to want to tell your friends about. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of our new uploads. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy viral stories. They heard her cries. They searched through the zoo for their favorite resident, one-year-old Musia. She'd been acting strangely that day, waddling from space to space with her swollen belly. The staff were anxious. If they didn't find her on time, maybe something else would. When they eventually got to her, she'd had some unexpected company. What were they to do now? Musia wasn't always a resident of Sadgorod Zoo in Russia. The local attraction was home to tigers, bears, leopards, lizards, camels, reindeer, turtles, monkeys, and lions, but never cats. However, when zookeeper Alice was venturing to work on a cold winter's morning, she noticed a small pile of dirt moving. When she looked closer, she realized it was something else entirely. Musia fit into Alice's hand when she found her. The tiny kitten was frozen and even had icicles stuck to her nose. Alice wasn't sure if she was going to make it through the night. She stuffed the hairball inside her jacket and went to work. The vets rallied and did everything they could for the little tot. Then all they could do was wait. But Musia was about to shock them all. Miracle. To everyone's disbelief, Musia made it through the first night, then the second, then the third. Between shifts, the keepers would come to the staff room to shower her in affection. She was still underweight and weak, but she still managed to get up and run around every day. She quickly became one of the family. Then they realized how much danger she was truly in. As Musia became strong, she longed to explore. The window of their staff room was her only experience of the outside world. They wanted to keep her safe. After all, there were wild animals on the other side of that glass. But one day, as Alice opened the door, Musia slipped out. They managed to keep her inside for over a year, only ever leaving for a short walk on a leash. How would she fend for herself? They never expected her to come back like this. Alice spent two days searching for Musia around the grounds. Every time she passed the crocodile's enclosure, her stomach clenched. What if she made her way into the wrong pen? What if she wasn't quick enough? Alice was warned by her colleagues not to expect to see Musia again, but she refused to listen to them. She had faith, and sometimes all you need is a little bit of faith. Musia eventually strolled back to her home in the center of the zoo. It was Alice who saw her pawing at the class door. She couldn't help but cry. At the beginning, she'd intended to find Musia home, but she could never bring herself to say goodbye. Her love for Musia continued to grow, but that wasn't the only thing that was growing. After a few weeks, Alice noticed a difference in her beloved cat. Musia was lethargic and cranky. She always had a playful personality, often hiding behind the tablecloth and slapping those who passed. Alice began to leave the door open for her to venture around the grounds, but Musia no longer had any interest in exploring. Instead, she'd just lie on the ground outside, but they never expected to discover this. Alice returned to the staff room after feeding time to have a hot cup of tea. But when she got there, Musia was nowhere to be found. This time, she didn't panic. Alice knew Musia was smart. She'd made her way back once before, so Alice was sure she could do it again. But as the second day passed, rain began to fall heavier than Alice had seen in months. The animals were off. Something was coming. Then she heard thunder. Alice and the other keepers grabbed their flashlights to search every nook and cranny around the zoo. She was sure Musia wouldn't have left the grounds. Here there was food and small rodents. Outside there was nothing but cars and parking spaces. Then by the lion enclosure they heard a cry. Alice followed the noise to their wood area of trees and plants. Deep within a bush lie Musia. However, she wasn't alone. Something was crawling on her chest. Alice crawled into the bush when Musia refused to leave. With her were four newborn kittens, and among them were baby hedgehogs. Alice didn't know what to do. Where had they come from and why were they with Musia? 
One by one, Alice loaded them into a box of blankets and brought them all to the vet room. Alice had more questions than answers. When Alice told the vet about Musia, he laughed. But when he opened the box, the smile turned to a frown. Deep lines burrowed on his forehead. I've never seen anything like this, he whispered before checking Musia and her young. He separated the species into two boxes before leaving to talk to Alice. When they returned, they found out what was going on. Musia had picked up her kittens and moved them one by one over to the hedgehogs. She sat among them proud as ever, purring as they burrowed into her for heat. Were the hedgehogs not hurting her? Were they not hurting the young kittens? But as Alice watched them together, something clicked. Musia had adopted all eight hedgehogs. And although their pricks would scare off many animals, Musia was not like most creatures. Alice was amazed. But then she worried for the safety of her kittens. She took the hedgehogs away and attempted to nurse them from a bottle. However, after hours of them refusing, she had no choice but to return them to their new mother. Little did Alice know, this wasn't the first instance of interspecies adoption. Another cat in Russia called Rosinka made headlines after she adopted a baby squirrel monkey named Theodore. The young creature was brought home by a zookeeper after being abandoned by its mother. Thankfully, Rosinka immediately began to comfort him. Was it just cats in Russia who had tendency to help other animals in need? Cats are commonly misunderstood. They're the less popular household pet when it comes to dogs, and many canine lovers put that fact down to the feline's malicious demeanor. However, cat owners around the world have rallied to share the benefits of owning a fluffy pal. Owning a feline is said to lower the risk of heart disease and help their owner sleep better. Their calm personalities ease stress and anxiety. Their purring is a continuous vibration that increases relaxation. And owning one is known to reduce allergies during childhood years. Above all else, owners have expressed the unparalleled company a cat provides while lounging on the couch to watch television. But how could Musia cope with such a big family? Against all her better instincts, Alice decided to keep Musia's family together. The young mother managed to nurse and care for all of her children. Later, they discovered where the hedgehogs had come from. Turns out their mother had been involved in a tragic accident with a lawnmower on the grounds of the zoo earlier that week. The tiny tots had been starving before Musia came across them. Alice was astounded. Had she rescued them before she had her kittens? Although many had their doubts, Musia continued to raise the hedgehogs like her own. Alice set up their own house just outside their staff room so she could keep a close eye on them. To her surprise, Musia had yet to cry from the pricks of the baby hedgehogs. It's as though they can sense her motherly presence, and the internet couldn't handle the cuteness. Love Alice shared photos of the young mother online and people are astonished. Cat lovers are singing Musia's praises and dog lovers have been touched by her gentle nature. Looks like Musia is showing the same kindness that was once shown to her by Alice. But how would the kittens feel about sharing their mother?